and welcome to Tech Talk here at the Australian Grand Prix. And joining me as ever is our technical analyst and the science Hi, teacher you wish you had at school, <laughs> no. Albert well, Fabrega. I didn't Albert. used to go to the school, to be honest. <laughs> welcome to Australia. How's yep. the jet lag been? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a tough. little bit, a little tough. bit. We'll see if we can get through it. Um, we're talking about wet, wet weather tyres today and yep. importantly, the spray that comes off them. I'm sure we've all driven down the motorway in pouring rain, in horrible conditions, and the spray from the vehicle in front, no matter how close you are following, makes visibility pretty much non-existent. It's Indeed. frightening enough for us, but in a Formula One car, At that 300 must be per hour, horrendous. You, you see nothing, so it's very difficult for the drivers to, to race in that conditions. And we saw this in action in Japan last yep. year, for example. That, I think, is where we saw that visibility was a real issue, but not it just is. that, it was so dangerous, wasn't it? I mean, rightly so, the race was red flagged and, and delayed for a while. There's two factors on a, a rain a wet race, let's say. The first one is that when the tarmac is wet, the drivers lose a lot of grip on the steering, on the braking, on the traction. So that increases the let's say the danger, because obviously yes. it's more slippery. And uh, for that reason, the, the teams and drivers are using the extreme rain tires. It's not a matter of having an accident. It's a matter if you have an accident, you lose the control of the car and you park the car in the middle of the, of the race, of the circuit, the other cars are coming. They see and nothing. Maybe the first one can see you, but the ones that are behind and we saw, as you said, last year in Japan, this is a dangerous situation that F1 and FIA are working to improve, to try to improve the visibility on rain conditions. Well, let's take a look then at the wet weather tyre yep. in action and the spray that we do see at the moment coming from it. Let's try to simulate. This is uh, a rain tyre. Yeah. <laughs> it's a karting one, it's not <laughs> Formula One. But uh, yeah, what we have is the track with this machine. We are, yeah, Ooh. that's I have different surface. I have <laughs> <laughs> Bahrain or Australia? Which one do you prefer? Oh, Australia! Come on, we're in Australia. Australia. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Then, then we have Australia on the on the uh, this rain tunnel or rain bench. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate that the tide is, uh, is running on the way. You see? So we'll put it here. That's it, more or less. What we have when the tide is running on the track. And now what we're going to simulate, or try to simulate, don't do that at home, don't try it. It's massively different than what's going on on the track, really. But we will try to have a little fun and see what's going on okay. when it's raining. You are the rain woman oh, here. I have the power. You have the power of the rain. And it has been raining here in Australia. We yeah. saw a very wet You don't have too. to sing. So just oh. open in the tap. <laughs> I was just coming. warming up my vocals out <laughs> so there. We, okay. will, we will try to uh, simulate the, the rain coming to the track. So I open opening up here. the gate. Not yet. Oh, sorry. Not yet. Not yet. So keen. You, you're gonna kill the machine. You remember on Friday when the GPS went down? Yes. I was uh, doing some tests with <laughs> this was machine. Me, was so, it? <laughs> so we will see how the tires are spraying water in this uh, yeah. panel or in this roll-up. Imagine if there is a, a driver behind. So okay. we will see that. I'm okay. So I'll, I'm I'll tell you why. No? Okay. So I will turn the mm, the machine on and then. When the tire is already running, you open the tap okay, and, and close it in three seconds. We don't need to. I, I will. Okay. I will let you win. I will. I will shout because it's so noisy. Just okay? a shower then. Yeah. Not, not just a, a, shower. Not a downpour. Not, okay. not a downpour. Okay. I'm ready. Let, I, I will tell you why. No. Okay. Don't do it yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go for it. Full. Full. Go. You know. You know. So. You see how the tire is spraying water yes. over the whole thing. Obviously, All the way up there as well. And a little bit on my face, yeah, I'm not gonna well. lie. Because there is a lot of water going up. If we could have a blower here, uh, but we don't have hands enough, but if we could have a blower, we'll see that all the water that is going up is going back uh, as well. Because of the air when the car is on the track, the speed and everything. So it's even increase the, the spray. So let's try one thing. Let's clean it. Because it's like a plume feather, isn't it? Behind yeah. the yeah. drivers. Yeah. And, and we see it. And the visibility for the car behind, it makes following impossible. I know the regulations Indeed. were all about making following more possible and more wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. Yes. The new regulations that came in in 2022. So what are the FIA doing then? This yeah. is what they have come up with. Wheel cover. I've built a wheel cover. I know that <laughs> Formula One and, and FIA are working on a type of uh, wheel cover like this. A little bit higher, a little bit wider. Uh, thinner, mm -hmm. we don't know yet, but uh, I've, I've built this one and what we have 
The other well, spec. Yeah, other cover. spec. What we're going to do is to fix it over the tire. Now, and, I mean, I this hear... isn't something you can just pop on in a pit stop, is it? This is something that has to be set from the yeah. very start of an extreme wet race. Everyone is thinking that this is not something that you can plug and unplug in a pit stop. If it's dry and it's raining, the car's getting into a pit stop and plug and fit something like that. The race should need to be stopped, suspended, and then the uh, cars can fit or the, the teams can fit this kind of uh, wheel covers on. Or if it's a, the, the race before the start is the clutch, wet, it's a wet race, they sh must fit these uh, wheel covers on the cars to do the whole race. If it's drying, they need to keep this on the car. You cannot dismantle it uh, very easy. As I'm doing here, it's not easy to, <laughs> to do it. So I will, let you, I will let you put yeah, it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just two balls. I hope it's that Formula balls. One, is the, the spec is a little bit better than this. <laughs> I was expecting a, a rudimentary football. spec, but but brilliant nonetheless, as always, Albert, yeah. to see uh, what you managed to bring to our tech talks. So the wheel cover is going on over yep. the extreme wet tire, and this is the one, of course, yeah. um, that Albert has created. It may not look exactly like this on yeah, an the, actual the, Formula One car in the, the future. The, the good thing on this is that you can move it. You could put it up and down. It's just a test. So I can, while it's running, I can find different right. positions. Okay. So. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. I will start okay. with the cover on the front and we will see that it's doing nothing to the spray. And then I will move it backwards slowly, slowly, slowly to see where it starts covering and stopping the splash and the spray over the, the roll up. So when would you like okay. to turn the tap on? This is the exciting bit for me. Yeah, it is not for me because okay. I'm so scared of this is going to blow up everything. But let's try again. Should we try? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll, I'll tell you when, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's go 50 k's per hour on the truck. Okay. Okay, now you can open the top. You see? Now we are splashing water, a lot of water. And if we go down here, we are stopping. Much less. But see, the water is going up. So when the water is going up, if we have the wind going here, we will have spray water. You see the difference? It has to be very, very low to stop. So it is good to see that if we put the wheel cover here, yeah. not much done. So we have to go very, very low to try to stop the spray coming out from the floor and from the tire. So this is the thing that I'm sure that Formula One and FIA are, are working on it to, to have the right position and the right uh, measures of, of these wheel covers to, to try to avoid as much spray as possible. And that's not the only issue with the spray, is it? It's that's not true. just the tires. No, no. It is also the underside and the floor of the car as well. You, and I'm sure you remember what we did in Bahrain. I do, yeah. With Sucking. Sucking. The As it were. The low pressure that is under <laughs> exactly. the car. So that low pressure is pushing the car down to the floor, but it's also sucking the water and it's throwing. It has to go somewhere, right? Somewhere. So we have the diffuser that is creating a vertical expansion of the air. But if there is water, it's spraying water as well. And this is more difficult to work. Well, let's take a look then at how the underside and the floor of yep. the car also contributes to the spray in wet conditions. Yeah, that's a Ferrari, that's Carlos Sainz. And <laughs> we know that this new car has a lot, a big, big uh, expansion area with a diffuser. So as uh, we were saying before, in Bahrain, we show that it sucks the tarmac and it sucks the water if there's water. So you want to show or you want to see how the diffuser is affecting the spray Let's on a water it. condition or right conditions. Let's see. We have uh, our sprayer that is spraying water. It's nothing toxic yet. So, <laughs> and I will try to blow this air under the car and you would see that it's creating a vertical expansion on this. So if there is air, it's no problem. We are creating downforce under the car, but obviously if there is water, we are spraying water. Let's try what it, what it happens and see if we can see that You see? You have to see the water. That the expansion of the diffuser is creating this spray that if there is a car behind, yep. is lost because uh, obviously that expansion is uh, increasing the spray. And the bad thing on this, I say bad because it's difficult to improve. If we try to limit that spraying, we are limiting the performance of the diffuser and we are limiting 
the downforce of the car and, and then that's dangerous. it's becoming dangerous. So yes. that's the very tricky thing that I don't know if there is any solution on that. So you're saying wheel covers, yes we on... Could, we could manage, we could improve yep. the spray. We could Front and rear, decrease. Yeah, both. wheel covers will... Four. Exactly, will yep. minimize, will reduce that spray, but the underside and the floor of the car... Will be more difficult. Will be more difficult. Because we cannot tape the diffuser and lose the 40 or 45 percent of downforce that is creating on the car and even is worse in rain conditions. Alba, as ever, brilliant stuff. Thank okay. you very, very much. And we'll see you in Baku for another still, Tech Talk. We still have power on the truck? <laughs> Looks like, yeah. I think you cut the whole thing. <laughs>